with Detroit and Brooklyn, separated by a half game in the standings and having split two meetings this season. Monday's matchup would provide the winner with the tiebreaker at the end of the season if it's needed. Detroit came in having won five in a row, Brooklyn three in a row. But D'Angelo Russell and the Nets came out with a sense of urgency that the Pistons just did not match. An early 10-point lead here for the Nets when Reggie Jackson goes down inadvertently kicked in the nether regions by Jared Allen. Jackson Cuckoo for Coco Puffs would have to leave the game. Rodion's Kuroots coming up with the steal and the slam on the other end. He did exactly that a couple of times in this ball game. Then Spencer Dinwiddie pull up three. He had 19 points. Brooklyn on top by 26 at halftime. It was 61-35. D'Angelo Russell keeping it going in the second half. Finds Allen Crabb for three. Then Russell the no-look to Joe Harris. As D'Angelo had seven assists, here comes an oop to Jarrett Allen. Brooklyn runs away with it, 103-75. The Nets have won four in a row. They're now in sixth, ahead of the Pistons by a half game as they embark now on a seven-game road trip.